What is the optimal conversion API setup for e-commerce stores? This is Becker, C of Hyros. In this video, we're gonna answer just that. One of our power users, Eddie, who has an agency where he has gotten tremendous results by plugging in the conversion APIs for these e-commerce stores and also found the optimal setup to plug it in with. This is going to allow you to not only track your sales more accurately, but pass them to Facebook and give Facebook way better data to target your customers with, thus getting you cheaper customers. And there's a lot of different ways you can set up the API. And Eddie in this video is gonna show you the most optimal way to do it. On top of that, if you're interested in his agency or anything that he's doing as well, or having this set up for your store, you can contact his agency below this video. So we're gonna hop into this and Eddie's gonna break down exactly how to set this up using Hyros. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up the Hyros Pixel, integrate it with your Facebook Business Manager and Shopify store, or whatever store you are hosting your website from, we'll be using Shopify in this example, and then ultimately deciding how you wanna have it set up in your domain under aggregate events measurement. You're gonna be faced with a couple of options here. So, um, we're basically going to supply you with um, different ways that you can go about this depending on your situation with your business. Before getting started, you need to have admin access to your Facebook Business Manager. Anytime you do any sort of integration to your Facebook Business Manager, you need admin access just in case you have to grab any sort of assets and um, you have full control. So from the Facebook dat or sorry, the Hyros dashboard, you're going to go up to the top right, hit settings, integrations. Facebook configure and you should already have this set up if you do not have this set up I would refer you back to the training docs at the top right and hit initial setup to get this taken care of assuming that this is already done you're going to navigate over to pixel create new high rose pixel and then hit yes this will automatically populate the high rose pixel into your respective Facebook business manager we've already done it so we're not going to do it in this video Next, we will be in the Facebook Business Manager for the next step. So once you're in your Facebook Business Manager under Data Sources and Pixels, you're going to want to check to see that the Hyros Pixel did populate into your Business Manager. If it did not, go ahead and clear your catch and update or uh, refresh your page. If it still is not popping up, uh, reach out to Hyros Support for extra attention. But it should pop up in here as Hyros Conversions Pixel. We renamed it to four dash 4m dash hyros pixel just for organizational purposes but ultimately you're a going to want to test to see that this is here and then b go ahead and give yourself admin access so that you can go ahead and drop this pixel into your store next we'll be hopping in a shopify store to show you how to drop it in there once you're in your shopify store under sales channel preferences facebook pixel you're going to go ahead and you'll see your old pixel in here and then um, basically go ahead and swap it out by hitting change. You should be seeing your Facebook pixel pop or I'm sorry, your high rose pixel pop up here. If you do not, make sure you have admin access. If it's still not popping up at this point, reach out to Shopify for extra support. Um, they're very good or um, high rose to see what might be some of the issues. You might have to eventually reach out to Facebook support if you're still dealing with problems. Good luck with that one because we all know how great they are. But um, ultimately, it should pop up when you have admin access. Next, we're going to hop into the events manager to um, show you a couple of different options on how you can set up this prioritization. Okay, so now that we're in the events manager, I'm going to show you a couple of options on how we could go about setting up the event prioritization under aggregate events measurement. So you're going to want to go here, locate your respective domain, manage events. Now one thing I'd like to point out real quick is no longer will your ad sets, ads, or campaigns be paused when you change your prioritization levels. Um, it does state it here still, but in recent contact with Facebook, they have come out with an update saying that this is no longer the case. The only time that this will occur is if you add a new domain or remove a domain from an old business manager and then add it into your business manager. It will then have a 72 hour halt um, on any sort of edits that you can make. But once um, that is done, you will not have to deal with this 72 hour pause in any way, shape or form. So we're then gonna go ahead and hit edit. Now here's when it comes to our first option. 
So for one, um, I would recommend this option if you have a fresh account and you don't have a lot of optimization going on um, because you do not want to have the high rose pixel linked to a purchase event and have your regular pixel linked to a purchase event. This could cause over-reporting and you just want to avoid it altogether. So all that you would do in this scenario is simply replace your pixel with the high res pixel that you created. And then you're gonna go down and go ahead and select purchase. You can go ahead and set it up to have an aggregate um, value measurement um, if you would like, but this is entirely up to you. So this is the first option that you go ahead and set up. Now let's say you do have a ton of optimization in your account and you don't wanna mess with it. I'll show you the next method on how we could go about this. So under method two, um, saying you do have a ton of optimization going on in your account and you don't want to mess any of that up, you're then going to want to go ahead and create a custom conversion event. And what this is basically doing is uh, creating a high rows purchasing event that you can set priority towards. Now, when you initially do this, you're not going to actually be using the high rows pixel. You're going to be using the high rows event and you'll be targeting towards this event and split testing and basically um, once you start to see a difference in performance um, you will then go ahead and swap over to having your high rose pixel entirely um, but initially you're going to hit create custom conversion you should see your high rose pixel in here go ahead and select that select uh, conversion event and then you should see the custom events here under high rose conversion this should pop up automatically when you go ahead and drop your high rows pixel into your business manager. So you're gonna go ahead and do this and name it respectively. I already have one created right here, so there's no need for me to do this. So now we're gonna go ahead and hop back into the aggregate events measurement. So once you've made it back to your aggregate events measurement, you're gonna go ahead and add your new event. And you can't go ahead and select your high rows pixel at this point and use that custom event that you just created. You're gonna to have to select custom conversion. Once you do this, you should see the conversion event that you created. Boom, high rows conversion. Sweet, this worked the first time. So then you're gonna go ahead and set this up here. Now when you do this, set it towards the second highest prioritization level, um, basically because your pixel that you're currently using is the one that has the most optimization right now. So we don't want to interfere with this much at all. We want to make sure that we can go ahead and build up this custom conversion that we just created. Keep in mind, this custom conversion did populate into your events when you created the new high rows pixel. So we're basically going to be teaching this event and then slowly scaling over to using the high rows pixel under purchase. So once you've done this, um, you're going to go ahead and hit submit. So split test and make sure that um, you have this conversion event alongside of your purchase event. And then when you see uh, performance is doing better towards this high rows conversion and you see it's outperforming your pixel conversion, you're going to want to scale into split testing the high rows pixel. At this point, if you um, are seeing a dramatic performance, um, this is outperforming your previous pixel, you can go ahead and remove this. Um, this is up to your judgment call. So um, from there, you're basically gonna want to just swap this out for the high rose pixel and then select your purchase event. But just keep in mind, you always want the highest priority level to be what is working. So um, when you initially come in, and you see your pixel with the purchase, that's the most important thing at that point. So we're then gonna be teaching the custom conversion event. And um, once that starts working best, that's the highest priority. And then once we're transferring over to using the four meet, or sorry, the uh, high rows pixel and the purchase, that's not as important because this one's performing better. We're split testing and scaling into this. You don't wanna go ahead and do this unless you have like no optimization that you care about. But if you have optimization that matters to you and that is important to your business, you need to have a scale in approach at this point. Uh, otherwise you just are gonna lose a lot. So that concludes um, setting up the high rose pixel in Facebook and 
um, at this point. Um, I think we've been pretty clear about everything. I'd like to point out one final thing is if you do deal with a unique issue of your account getting locked up from messing around with these um, event measurements, uh, we don't take any responsibility. Facebook did have an update to where this isn't an issue, but however, we're not recommending that you do this. Um, this is entirely up to you and your business and what you want to do. But that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.